So here we have the Toyota GT86 on a 15 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see that it's a two-door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of it, you can see we have those two twin tailpipes and plenty of boot space given the type of car that we've got here. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see that it's in lovely condition the whole way around and a great looking car too. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard. So let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, we have the speedometer. The rev counter is in the center. And over on the right hand side, the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauges. In the uh, dead center, you can see the total miles for the car. They are 50,706. And we have a digital readout for the speedometer in that section as well. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have the GT86 badging just there, and then cruise control to the uh, right hand side here. Over in the center, we then have the main screen. So you've got a few buttons down the right and left hand sides, but it does essentially become uh, touch screen as you can see so we've got satellite navigation if you listen to your music just go to media and then up in the top right hand corner you'll see we've got am and fm radio bluetooth audio so you can stream your music wirelessly we've got the cd player and auxiliary and usb input as well main volume for the stereo is just here beneath that we have dual zone climate control so you can adjust the passenger and driver temperature you can increase and decrease the fan speed air conditioning is off at the minute so that's on, same button to turn it off again, should you wish to do that, or you can hit auto. In doing so, the car will now maintain the temperatures you've asked for. You can see it doing it by taking control of the fan speed and the direction of the air. Any manual adjustment will override auto straight away again. You can turn the whole system off from there. We have our USB and auxiliary inputs just underneath this cap. We have a little bit of storage, the start and stop button for the engine, uh, six speed manual gearbox, from here, we can turn off the traction control and you can see more uh, GT86 badging there as well. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see this car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.